I'm at over oh. 16 plus. It's the kind of terrorist attack that keeps national security advisors up at night. A biological or chemical agent unleashed in a populated area. We've shown you National Guard troops trained for it. Adversaries that we deal with have changed their um, operational characteristics to the point where they now are very interested in large-scale havoc, widespread uh, panic and destruction. Experts now believe terrorists would also use cyber attacks in advance on facilities that produce life-saving vaccines and medications. To increase the effectiveness of the biological weapon attack. William Carleton is with the University of Nebraska's National Strategic Research Institute. They pair up research done with the university that could help national security. UNL's Biological Processing Development Facility has already created ways to mass produce an antidote to the deadly ricin toxin. We have all of the processes in place. We could immediately uh, begin making additional ricin vaccine. Now, the Department of Defense has contracted with the biomanufacturing research facility to help develop cybersecurity strategies to make sure this facility and others are safe. Identify potential vulnerabilities and then develop m ways to mitigate any potential damage that could be done. Protecting data on processes and formulas from hackers. They could change a toxin so that it's not the vaccine wouldn't be effective. And the concern isn't only sabotage but corporate espionage as well. It costs over a billion dollars to develop and get FDA approval for just one drug. You have a competitor and they want to know how you're making your product so they can make a generic. Facilities in Virginia and Colorado are also part of this bio and cyber security project. If we can defeat the cyber attack, then the biological weapon attack, even if it does occur, we might be able to mitigate the impact of it. We might even be able to detect that it might occur so we could actually uh, disrupt that attack before it ever happened. The goal, to let everyone sleep a little safer at night. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, Newswatch 7.